how to fix SSL pending error on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can fix your SSL pending error in Shopify. Now, there are different tips and techniques you're going to find out there, but I'm going to be making this a comprehensive guide on all the different issues you might be facing in terms of SSL and how to resolve those. So let's jump right in. First off, we are going to log on to our Shopify store. Now, in your Shopify store, usually when you get started, you don't have a domain assigned to you. So if I go into my settings on the bottom left and go into domains on the left, you will see I don't have a domain currently. Now, your SSL error only comes when you actually are linking a domain. So the first thing you're going to do is if you're using a third party platform like uh, GoDaddy or any other domain site, Namecheap or whatever you might be using, you want to go on ahead and take a look at the domain you have and make sure that if SSL certificates are not being avoided for free with the domain that you have, you are going to make sure that you are purchasing your SSL certificates alongside your domain. That is really important and this is something that a lot of people skip out on. So make sure you are including your SSL certificates in your domain purchase. A lot of uh, people don't realize this, but when you purchase a new domain like I have over here, this currently does have an SSL certificate, but it's only valid for the first year. So after one year, I would have to purchase it separately other than the fees that I'm paying for this domain. So keep in mind that whenever you are doing this, you have to repurchase your SSL certificates. So, okay, we have our SSL certificate. We're going to connect our existing domains. We're going to go into ruffled.site and then click on connect. And then after that, you have to verify your connections by completing your CNAME. And you will see it says SSL pending over here. The reason for this is because I haven't linked it from here. First, go into your GoDaddy or domain name provider, whatever it might be, and you are going to go on ahead and go into your products and you're going to connect your domain. There are a few different ways to do that and you can definitely find more detailed tutorials. So you're going to click on manage and connect a website to your domain. So we're going to go on ahead and add our business. You guys can see I have listed a site with a ruffled dot site and this is my site. So make sure that you have verified that this is your site that you have connected to because if you don't do that, you, you can actually end up in issues. Then you're going to see on the right, you have a quick link section of domain forwarding. Go into this quick link section and forward to any site. Once you do that, you can see uh, diff selecting a different destination will override the previous one. Now, if I go back into my Shopify store and I see that my SSL certificate is still pending, then I would do the domain forwarding trick where I would delete it from here and then do domain forwarding. But as you guys can see, my SSL pending has now been removed. And that is how you remove the SSL pending error from your Shopify store. A lot of people are facing this error because they don't verify their connection to their domain from their domain name provider. Now, what happens if you have verified the connection and you still have the error? So I have verified the connection and you guys can see now if I open up my online store, I have ruffle.site as my primary domain and I don't have any SSL error. However, if you are still facing this error and you can't seem to figure out why, go into your domain name provider. And this is in the situation where if you have used a third party provider. So if you're using a third party provider like GoDaddy, go into the help center and go directly into live chat. You will see there are a bunch of different question and answers. You're going to click on contact us on the bottom right. And once you click on contact us, you're going to contact your domain name provider and tell them the issue that you are facing. So this is currently a virtual assistant. When you write down your issue, they will provide you with a live chat support eventually, or they will get back to you in the form of an email. Once they get back to you, you want to explain your issue and how you've purchased your domain name with a SSL certificate, but it's still not connecting even though you have connected it properly make sure you have connected it properly as well but 
if the domain name was purchased directly on Shopify. So in the situation where you go into settings on the left, you go into domains and you buy a new domain. And let's say the new domain that I'm buying is Lily Davis is awesome because she is. Why not? So if I take a look at this domain, it's currently available. You know, there are a bunch of different available domains. Lily Davis is awesome dot store. I want to look at the cheapest domain available on Shopify, but we're going to just scroll down. Wow. Random. This is available and we have this domain, which is pretty long. And if I click on buy over here, you will see your auto renewal, your basic info, your phone number, your privacy info, and then you're just going to go into buy domain. This is where a lot of people don't realize they're making an issue because they purchase Shopify domains without SSL certificates and without an SSL certificate, obviously your website is going to show up uh, as a website that is not secure. So if you're purchasing a domain off, off of Shopify, make sure to verify that it does have a SSL certificate. <laughs> verify SSL isn't available. <laughs> so I'll just buy verify SSL.store and you will see your info. But when you click on buy domain, make sure that you are going to purchase a SSL alongside it. If you don't purchase an SSL alongside it, or if you did and it still is giving you the SSL pending error over here, in that particular situation, go into Shopify help. And you're going to go into the Shopify help center because there is no other way to fix this issue unless you are contacting Shopify. Go and talk to the virtual assistant. Make sure you have logged on with the Shopify store that you want to talk about and ask them that you're, you purchased your domain with Shopify and you're having an SSL pending error. You will see there are a lot of different Q&A sections. So if you do actually search for SSL pending like this, you will see that you have some suggested resources, account security, but there isn't going to be anything that is relevant to your actual domain. So you will see what the virtual assistant is going to help you out for a little bit. And if your SSL is usually results within 24 hours, your domain settings are correct and check out for SSL certificates. So this is the really important part where you're supposed to always have an SSL certificate with the domain that you have purchased. And if you haven't purchased an SSL certificate, you can do so later on, even if you skipped out on the first time around. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.